I get a lot of hate sometimes when I play against South American teams. Oh wow, this is a very personal question. I, I enjoy the Gaben memes on Twitch quite a lot. Maybe the uh, Incredible Hulk, Broodmother is really good. Wow, well the obvious one would be the, everyone would say the Salt. Carry and Mid, for sure. The, those guys get all the attention. Wow, the entire esports industry, that's tough. Um, I don't know, maybe some of the CEOs like uh, Jason Lake and uh, Jack and Alex Garfield. I think the people that have led like some of these big organizations are, are, are pretty cool. It's a, not an easy job. Uh, I get a lot of hate sometimes when I play against South American teams. Um, they're usually pretty aggressive. Same thing with Southeast Asia and I don't know, some people, a lot of people get really mad when they lose their bets. So they just, you know, generally it's just like little like meaningless death threats and stuff like that. So it doesn't really bother me. Favorite superhero? I'm not a big superhero guy, um, but uh, maybe, maybe, maybe the uh, Incredible Hulk. <gasps> he's pretty cool. I like him. Uh, I do like Keanu Reeves. I think he's a pretty cool guy. I've seen some of his interviews and stuff, but I'm not like a... I wouldn't say like I'm a worshiper. Like that's kind of, it's almost like a cult following he has. I wouldn't consider myself a part of the cult. So I, I enjoy the Gaben memes on Twitch quite a lot because I, you know, I'm involved with Dota so much. So I'll say Gaben. Uh, wow, there's so many good ones. Uh, you have the Ember Spirit one that's really good. Grimstroke, can, the Agonims can be really good. Uh, I'm trying to think, there's so many heroes that just like need this item. Um, the Bristleback one is really good. Uh, there's, there's a ton. I don't know which one's the most OP. Broodmother is really good. Yeah, so I just saw that the prize pool hit 24 million, which is 94% of last year's prize money. And uh, Wickram tweeted, and it has like, we still have like almost two months to go. So I definitely think we're gonna hit 30, maybe even, who knows, maybe even 35. Uh, there's this one where this Chinese girl talks, and I don't I have no idea what she says, but it's my favorite. Oh wow, this is a very personal question. Last time that I cried, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll share it. One time I did cry though was when I got kicked from uh, Team Dignitas, which was my first Dota 2 team. I was pretty upset. Ooh, do I have fangirls? Um, yeah, there's, there's a couple of uh, ladies of interest, I guess you could say. Um, most of them are just big Dota fans, so they just, you know, wish me luck on games and stuff like that. Superpower? Um, I would... I don't know, maybe uh, maybe superhuman strength, you know? If anybody decided to mess with me, I could just beat them up. Wow, well the obvious one would be the, everyone would say the salt. Um, if I could sell anything underneath my name brand, maybe I would sell like, a uh, boring answer, maybe like keyboards and mice. That could do well. Um, tough question, I'm not like too in love with any patches, but maybe, there was a patch where I got to play Treant a lot, and I also got to play Wraith King as position five support. That was a TI4, so maybe that patch. Uh, I have a ton of respect for Heen. I think he's really kind of turned TNC around. Uh, I'm not sure how they're doing in their series right now, but um, I think he's really good. And uh, yeah, that's probably my favorite. I don't have as much education about the Chinese teams or the, uh, how good their coaches are, because I just I don't get to interact with them in any way. But uh, maybe maybe like um, one of them could be good too. Yeah, sure. If if Dota is still around and my kids like to play Dota and they're really good, um, of course it's a it's a pretty fun career and it can be very um, very lucrative. Uh, carry and mid, for sure. The, those guys get all the attention. The supports were unloved. Uh, yeah. So generally, resting and recharging is just being at home. Um, I like to, you know, not set an alarm, sleep in, wake up when I need to, and then I like to try to just be, honestly, just trying to be as healthy as possible uh, really helps. When I get at, like, at events, it's really easy to overeat and not exercise and be like a little, you know, you get stuck in the hotels and it's, yeah, it's just nice to kind of reset and experience other parts of life. Okay, thank you. Cool.